Good morning, juniors. Welcome to Tartan Time. This morning, we want to talk about the PSAT and the benefits of taking that test pertinent to you as a junior. So the PSAT is a practice SAT that can be taken by either sophomores or juniors, but it's also a national merit scholarship qualifying test for juniors, which means it's in conjunction with the PSAT is a test that qualifies people for the National Merit Scholarship and would deem certain people as a National Merit Scholar. And that's something huge to put on a college application or on a resume, but then there's also some money tied to it for college. So that's a huge, that's a really big deal. So the PSAT measures critical reading, math problem solving skills and writing skills like many standardized tests do and really what's what's great about this is that these skills are developed over many years both in and out of the classroom so you can't really cram for the test um, it's just developed through years of education which we all have been acquiring so let's talk about the top 10 reasons why you should take the PSAT number 10 is that it assesses these three skills in comparison to students around the US who are taking the same test and will com be competing with you for the same colleges. So you really get to see where you place amongst your peers nationwide. Number nine, maybe your parents say they want you to go to Harvard, but your friends say you'll be lucky to get in anywhere, right? Well, the PSAT can give you an impartial assessment on college level readiness, essentially. So do you have the ability to do college level work at the institution of your Do you have the ability to do college level work at the institution of your choice? The PSAT allows you to compare your test performance nationwide with other students planning to go to college and then you can kind of find your best fit. Number eight, what number do I need to call or when do I have to take the test? All of that is such you know, stressful information. And there is a lot of information and deadlines to keep track of when you're preparing for life after high school. But don't worry, when you take the PSAT, you're automatically pre-registered for the SAT. So it's pretty much saving you a step. Number seven is money. College and really life after high school in general is super expensive. The good news here is that the PSAT is only 15 bucks. That's like dirt cheap when it comes to tests. Number six, taking the PSAT is a good way to start off the year thinking about your college and career goals, which is our mission in Tartan Time. It's why we meet on a weekly basis. And it's why we're doing these lessons and activities and getting your mind moving around this idea of life after you graduate from high school. So this is huge. Early planning pays off when it comes to college and careers. And early in your junior year is really when it counts the most. Number five, when you take the PSAT, you gain access to My College Quick Start, available on collegeboard.com, which really is leaps and bounds above what we have access to in Tartan Time, like things like Big Future. Big Future is great, but my college quick start is much more tailored to you based off of your performance on the test. So it offers free resources and information about college and career planning and you really should check it out. Number four, let's say you don't know where else to apply besides UC, which is kind of a rut that some Oak Hill students get into, which isn't a big deal, but some students really want to or really could branch out. Um, you should check yes to the student search services when you take the PSAT and you'll get lots of information from colleges you may never have heard of, giving you lots of info about schools that might be just right for you. So it really gives you access to information about things that you, about schools that you otherwise wouldn't have heard of. Number three, the PSAT gives you a preview of college admissions tests which is big, and it prepares you for the SAT with a free personalized study plan. Again, it's 15 bucks for the test, and along with that, you get this free personalized study plan to help you do well on the SAT, which is the score that counts in moving on to college. Number two is for sophomores, but for number one, for juniors, taking the PSAT this year is essential if you want to be considered for the National Merit Scholarship. This is the qualifying test for the National Merit Scholarship, and there's a lot of money to be offered if you then qualify and become a National Merit Scholar. I mean, that it's just huge 
for you to even be close to being a National Merit Scholar. It really is a big deal. So what about the format of the test? It's two hours and ten minutes. You have two verbal sections, two math sections, and one writing section. Seems like kind of basic stuff. Your score ranges from 20 to 80 points in each section. Something important here is that you don't get any points for an omitted answer. You do get the point for a correct one. However, there is a guessing penalty, so for a wrong answer, it's a quarter of a point off. So you don't really want to guess unless you get it down to really two or three answers. So National Merit Semifinalists are announced in mid-September 12th grade, which is about a year from now for you guys, and they are based on a selection index. So let's get registered for the PSAT. The test date is Wednesday, October 15th here at Oak Hills during school hours. Okay, so it's not like you have to come outside of school. You just come to school for a regular school day, except you'll miss a little bit of class in order to take the two hour and 10 minute test. It's a $15 non-refundable charge. You can pay via Easy Pay. That is only available until September 22nd because it takes some time to kind of process that payment. You can pay by credit card, cash, or check made payable to Oak Hills High School with your name in the memo. And registration is open the 15th through the 26th. You can register in the business office or in room 305. Okay, And you can still pay on September 26th even though the school is not in session. So we have an in-service day that day, but that doesn't mean you can't come in and pay. Of course you can. Please come in. Please pay. So I hope this gives you a good glimpse of what the PSAT is and how you personally could benefit from taking it. And I'm really, really hoping that today you can work on getting registered and work on preparing for the PSAT. Let me or your Tartan Time teacher know if you have any questions. And let's have a great day.